Oh, welcome back to the channel and another video. And I'm here on Talbot Road in Blackpool. So, of course, they are building the new tramway extension, which is pretty much good to go, has been tested. Which runs up to this brand new shiny hotel that they're building at the moment. So yeah, this is going to be the uh, brand new hotel here in Blackpool as part of the Talbot Gateway development. So it's going to be shopping, mall and uh, walk through down to the train station which is just the other side of this and it's all going to look shiny and gorgeous so this is the holiday inn here on talbot road you can see got a lovely south side face you up now it's looking pretty impressive and just ahead of us Sainsbury's just up there. This is Talbot Road car park on my left. And Big Staff House, which is the council buildings. Just through those doors, Big Staff House is where the Life is a Circus statues are that were part of the Great Promenade Show. And uh, so if you watch my video on that, and I say they're at the council buildings at Big Staff House, well, that is where they are. So if you want to see them, they're there. Let's just go over here. It's not something I've really kept up with, the progress of this, to be honest. But we may as well have a little look while I'm up in the town centre at what's going on down here. As you can see there. It's looking very good. Okay, we'll go across this road and just see if we can get an angle from somewhere before I move on. See you in a minute. Yeah, so that's North Train Station there. And if we just look round, we can see part of the hotel building that's going on just there. It looks like it's going to be pretty amazing when it's done. Again, there's an artist's impression here what it's going to look like when it's opened up, which I think is next year. So that's what it's going to look like finished. And there's a little bit of blurb here to read. So I'll just stop there. Then you should be able to pause the video and read that. Take a little look from this gate area here, just so I can show you through. There you go. I don't know if that affords you any better look than we were getting before. But yeah, so that's the new Holiday Inn, which is due to open this year, I believe. Yeah, so that's the Holiday Inn that's... Uh, heading towards completion rapidly and then you've got Talbot Road car park there Baker Staff House here which is obviously the council buildings and Sainsbury's here so I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wander this way and let's have a look at some other developments in the area shall we I don't get up here as often as I would like time is very limited for me but um, 
I'll show you what I can when I can, as always. Yeah, side of Sainsbury's there, as you can see, look. So it's big inside there. And Argos is also inside there. So this is behind Bickerstaff House. And we are going to head down here and just go for a wander. You know, Blackpool gets a lot of bad press about being like a dirty, scruffy little seaside town and it just being horrendous the minute you get away from the uh, promenade. And to a degree, I agree, but there are changes being made to make things look a lot better and a lot of improvements are being made at the moment to modernise many of our buildings or build new ones and uh, try to move away from that scruffy, depressive back streets when you come off the prom. So this is George Street here. Now this is also an interesting area because you've got Cookson Street uh, Grosvenor Street there, I mean. You've got Grosvenor Street there. And this is George Street. Now, there is plans for a multiversary. Versity. Multiversity. If I can get that out. So basically it's a university in a way. Lots and lots of different learning levels going on, hence the calling it a multiversity. Now that development is in talks at the moment but if all that goes ahead, if um, well it will go ahead but if we can't get agreements from people that own these houses as far as the sale of these houses so then they can be demolished then they will have to put compulsory purchase orders in place and do it that way. So it's going to take quite a while yet for anything to be happening there but it is in the early stages of being given the green light to start negotiations with property owners in the area. So there we have of course what was the hop in which is going to be the new King Street dentist surgery and if you've watched other people's channels you'll know that King Street Dentists at the moment are in temporary accommodation around the corner. I think they've done a really good job of that actually. Look how sympathetically that's been done. So let's go down here. So we're on Cookson Street here. So let's just turn around and get to that. Look how sympathetically that has been built. So you've got parts of the old hop pub there in the sandstone and the new building attached to it. Yeah, all this area here, part of Charles Street and many others, this part of Cookson Street here, is, uh, yeah, so this is uh, Charles Street and all this area here, round onto Cookson Street and George Street that I've just shown you, is all going to be part of this multiversity development that's uh, going to be going on. So that's going to be massive development and I reckon it's going to take a good few years before we see any action going on in any way shape or form on there so let's just cross Cookson Street a minute
and just go down here. This is again this part of Charles Street. I'm just going to give you a little look at the back. Everybody's going to be the dentists. Not a lot to see from the back, really. It's just a, a wall. Hang on, let's go through that hole there, maybe. Yeah, not a lot to see from the back, just a wall. And what's going to be a car park. Okay. Now, if we head down here onto... Uh, If we head down here onto King Street, you'll see that there's been more things have been put up here because there's been some demolition has gone on, which included the old dentist surgery all the way around that area there. All this fencing where you can see that now runs all along the side of here. There used to be buildings, including the dentist, which has now been demolished. Let's have a quick look with this piece of gate here. And you can see the old hop in there, which is going to be the new King Street Dental Practice. So that's there. Uh, right. So let's continue our little wander along King Street here. I do believe eventually all this will be going also, but for the moment. It's uh, the area there that's all gone. Bingo at the Royal British Legion. And the porter cabins there on the end is where the temporary dental surgery is right now. Yes, yeah, so that's where the uh, dentist is at this moment in time. Which, you get to the end of here, leads on to uh, Corns Street, or however you wish to pronounce it, and onto Church Street. So that's the area there. Just swing you back. Tower. Peeking above the buildings there. Now where they've knocked those buildings down on King Street there is going to be the new DWP offices from what I can gather. And it's going to centralise about 3,000 staff from the Department of Work and Pensions into Blackpool Town Centre. So instead of having them split all over the place at different places, they're all going to be centralised here in one building. So that should be uh, more convenient for people. This is Millbourne Street. Yeah, this is Millbourne Street here. Okay, gaming cap, I don't know if that's still is there or not. Side paradise. Mm, we all know what they do, don't we? <laughs> Thai massage and spa. Is that another word for a gentleman's club? I think so. <laughs> there's loads and loads and loads of redevelopment going on in Blackpool at the moment. Oh, now I'm going over here shortly. I don't wish to, 
but I do wish to at the same time. It's only a consultation, um, getting ready for the other half of my dental surgery. Those that know me know I've had a lot of problems and I've had to have extensive surgery in the mouth department. So it's all been done under sedation and that's where it's been done. I'm not there just yet, so I'm going to have a little wander around. Yeah, I don't know how much of uh, that area there from Charles Street, Milbourne Street and all that is part of this university malarkey but um, I will try and find some more information out on it it's been a bit lacking just up to now and of course you've got the Regent down there which I did a video on I uh, had a walk around the inside of it Tell you what, let's um, carry on going down Cookson Street for a few minutes. I'll come back on myself shortly. And then I'll show you just a bit down here. So we've got more Thai massage places here. Natalie's sauna. Yeah. Okay, so and of course over there we have the famous trees that cost ten thousand pound each apparently. I'm going to uh, wrap this one up here I think guys just a short one with a quick wander around a quick catch up on a couple of the uh, projects that are going on here in Blackpool like I say lots and lots of regeneration going on and uh, actually this building here is going to be having some work done on it as well which yes it needs it so that'll be good right I'm going to wrap this one up here Thanks for watching and until the next one, stay well, catch you later guys.